New at six, the family of a murdered St. Louis police officer that's been waiting years for justice is now in for an even longer delay. Thanks for joining us. I'm Holden Kerwicki. Officer Tamaris Bohannon died more than two years ago. His accused killer remains behind bars as the, as the officer's loved ones wait for something to happen. Five on your side's Christine Byers was at a court hearing today where the family learned another delay is ahead. For 19 months, public defenders for accused killer Thomas Kinworthy asked for continuances as they waited for the results of a private mental health evaluation. No one from the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office objected along the way. Now, prosecutors want an evaluation of their own. Officer Tamaris Bohannon was gunned down in August of 2020 after police say Kinworthy barricaded himself in a stranger's home in Tower Grove. He left behind three children and a wife. This week, Kinworthy's public defender entered a plea of not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. Friday in court, prosecutors said they intend to seek a mental health evaluation, too. The judge recommended prosecutors ask the Department of Mental Health to expedite Kinworthy's evaluation, saying the family is already understandably frustrated. Bohannon's widow, Alexis Bohannon, told the I-team in November she's tired of the delays. Whether he spends the rest of his life in a prison, whether he spends the rest of his life in a mental health institution, makes me know never mind. As long as he's not on the streets, as long as he can't perpetrate again, as long as he won't kill another soul in his life, I will be perfectly happy with that. Bohannon's parents, Al and Elizabeth Bohannon, attended today's court hearing. Well, we understand that proceedings take time and that things have to be done correctly in order not to allow a technicality or a continuance and not in our favor. So we're happy that things are moving along today. I also spoke with a legal expert about the mental defect plea. He says it's somewhat rare because there is a high bar to prove it. To learn what's required to meet that bar, read my story at KSDK.com. If the state's mental health evaluation comes back different than the defense's, attorneys could ask for a third evaluation to break the tie, and that could lead to even more delays.